Um, and on my, my next page, here I have my master EQ. This is a total band EQ, and this works much like the send effect. Uh, I have two EQs. The second one is an individual one. Because, you know, the, the one thing I noticed is club systems vary from, you know, all around the world. The sound quality, the balance of them. So I often find myself kind of rebalancing tracks live if I need to, and then I can take it off if the next track sounds okay or whatever. You know, it's it's just another thing to give me more control over the overall sound of my, my uh, live show. Uh, and then here is my, my synth effect. Let me put my bass line in, so... See the first one. We have uh, a distortion thing here. Low cut. Put some effect on that. Basically, these are all set up for different tracks throughout my show. Uh, some are just simple filters. Uh, some are controlling soft synths. Um, but a lot of them are just using the XY filter, and I'm turning them on and off as I use them, turning the synths on and off. So, um, is there much more to show you on how my show works? Probably not. That. That's about it, really. Uh, let me get this set up, and I'll show you the first bit of the show, and you can get an idea of what it actually sounds like. I just have to get all the settings right because it opens in a certain way. Uh, where's my sense? I think it's something like that. If I remember, you're there. And I can't really remember. I think you're there. Something like that. Um, so, yeah, let's go from the top and see what it sounds like. Ah, yeah, sorry. One thing I, the one thing I just wanted to also add is you might notice these controls down here. Uh, the one thing that I did with that, my, my screen layouts is I made it uniform because you can do ghost copies of controls. So down here you have these ghost co copies and if you look on the far left hand side, sorry, far right hand side of Ableton and go up and down, you can, I can control my scenes this way. So here I have my stop start. I can, so if I want to drop down to a clip and drop it in, I can just do that if I want to stop it, if I want to go up and drop a different clip in, I can do that and I can stop it, you know. So I have the, the flexibility to move around the screen and drop in the clips as I choose. Uh, and then this just cues each scene. So I can just, as I press each time round, it will go all the way down like that. Uh, and that's how I control the flow through the live show. Uh, so yeah, let me give this a blast and hopefully it works out okay. <laughs> 